Hey, what's up everyone? Elliot from ClickUp University here. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can vibe code your first super agent inside of ClickUp. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm gonna head over to my ClickUp workspace here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to the AI hub. In the AI hub, you'll notice that we've got this new super agent tab. And so if you click on the super agent tab, it'll bring you into the vibe coding experience to actually build your first super agent. So here, if I wanted to, I could just start defining my super agent's role, what they'll handle, what I want them to do. Alternatively, if I'm looking for ideas, you'll notice that there are some super agents that are already being suggested to me to start to build. So we've got a script writer here, a style guardian, feedback and triage, and a content repurposer. So these are all based off of the ways that I actually work inside of ClickUp and the specific work that I actually do for ClickUp as the head of ClickUp University. Heading down, you'll also see some different agent ideas. So if you're looking for different agents based off of different use cases, we've got tons and tons of great suggestions here as well. So you've got your project management agents, you've got your task management agents. Scrolling down further, we've got personal productivity. There's actually tons and tons of different agent ideas that you can try out and start to vibe code right away. And for today, I'm gonna to start off with something relatively simple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find the Right Like Me agent, which is inside the C-suite. So there's something that I wanna talk about here. And one of the reasons why I'm choosing the Right Like Me agent is that more and more, I'm seeing people that are posting on LinkedIn and Reddit and other socials. And the posts are maybe coming from them, but it's very, very clearly written by AI. And I think we're all starting to get kind of familiar with some of the tells like, you know, extra M dashes or lots of emojis or big lists of bullet points. And the issue here is that when you do this, you come off as lazy and also as someone who isn't really advanced in using AI. We should be using AI to extend ourselves and make ourselves more effective and more productive. And so a lot of this course and a lot of this content will be talking about how to utilize context and build agent teammates that actually work with you instead of replacing you. And so today, let's walk through how we can use the Write Like Me agent to build an agent that's going to help you to post and write things just as you would write them yourself using your own style and all of the context that you might have from previous writings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Try Now button here. This will immediately open up a dialog with myself and click a brain. And Click a Brain is going to walk me through the process of building an agent together. And it's going to ask me all the questions that it needs in order to actually build the agent on my behalf. And this is one of those things that I want to call out that's one of the big differences between using an agent in ClickUp and an agent experience somewhere else or just using regular old AI. It's that through this experience of building your agent, you're going to get an agent that definitely works. It definitely accomplishes the goals you want it to accomplish. And it has all of the proper context and tools and resources that it needs in order to actually do the jobs that you want it to do. So first of all, it's asking me here, what do you want this Write Like Me agent to focus on? So is it going to do drafting LinkedIn posts? Is it going to write emails? Is it going to write task updates, descriptions and click up, or maybe write longer articles and docs? For today, let's keep it relatively simple. I'm just going to say that this agent is for drafting LinkedIn docs. So I'm just going to copy and paste the answers here to keep it easy. Next is the question, where should it learn your style from in ClickUp? And actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a different answer than what's already proposed here. And I'm going to use text to type for this. I'd like you to learn both from my emails and from a previous LinkedIn post that I've drafted. So let's go ahead and submit that and see what the agent builder does next. So Brain has processed my response. It's telling me, great, we'll build an agent that drafts LinkedIn posts in your voice using your emails and a past LinkedIn draft. To write this up correctly, I need two details. I need an email source because your emails aren't stored in ClickUp. So the agent can learn from Gmail drafts, but not from your sent inbox email. And do you want the agent to use your Gmail drafts as writing samples, or is your email writing stored anywhere in ClickUp? And then for past LinkedIn posts, 
where is the previous LinkedIn post you want to use as a style sample? So it's asking me to provide all of the context that it needs in order to make sure that it's actually writing like myself. So I'm gonna do two things here. I do have a LinkedIn post that I'd like to use. So I'm gonna pull that in first. So here's my LinkedIn example. And by the way, I did write this post using AI, but it was that previous experience where I went back and forth multiple times to actually get the output that I was looking for that also sounded genuinely like myself. So let's paste that in. And then what I'm also going to add here, instead of having to go through all of my own emails and find all of the specific emails that I think are good examples of my writing style, I'm gonna let ClickUpBrain do that research for me because it already has access to my emails and it will be able to find them in just a matter of seconds. I'm going to head to Gmail because I've already connected my Gmail account and I'm gonna go ahead and just type in, can you look for examples of emails that showcase my writing style? Be sure these are emails that I have written. So it looks like we got some good results coming in through here. These all do look like emails that I've written. It does look like it's captured some of the tone that I typically use in my emails. Let's go ahead and ask it to analyze the tone of these emails just to add some additional context for the AI. So we've got friendly, supportive, reassuring, encouraging, clear, inviting, concise, approving, action-oriented. So let's go ahead and copy this response. We can minimize brain here. And I'm also gonna say here are my email examples. Okay, so now we have tons of really good context to actually provide to ClickUp Brain in order to help us generate this agent. Brain is telling me, thanks for sharing these. This is plenty to lock in your voice. So next, how do you wanna work with the agent to draft your LinkedIn posts? So actually what I'd like to do is definitely A here. And what should the default goal or CTA of your post be? Let's just go for educate and tell stories, light, no specific CTA. So I'm not really gonna use my LinkedIn as a promotional tool at this time. So I'm just gonna set up these answers here. Submit that for Brain. And Brain is gonna to continue to create my agent. Now, one thing I wanna call out while this is processing is just the importance of context here. Without context, without your personal expertise, without your personal preferences, AI is gonna be the same tool for you and anybody else who uses it. So the results you're gonna get are gonna be the exact same as everybody else. And those generalized responses and those generalized results aren't really showcasing expertise with AI. And they might also actually be slowing you down more than they're even speeding you up. So I do have a response from Brain here. Nice, that's very clear. Two quick things to lock this agent in. Should it remember your preferences across sessions? And do you want it to create a ClickUp task for each drafted post? So this is really cool, and this is something that was just recently added to our super agents, and it's the concept of memory. You can actually have the agent now remember all of your preferences, and as you continue to work with that agent and have back and forth with it and give it continual feedback, the agent will actually remember that feedback and be sure to incorporate it into future projects that you work on with it. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, I definitely want you to remember my themes and preferences over time. And for the second option here, do you wanna create a ClickUp task for each drafted post? I'm actually going to have it create a doc. So I'm gonna even give it a different option than what we have here. I'm gonna say, I would like the agent to create a doc inside of the task where I've added it. The task will have the name of the article as the task name. Inside the task description will be some details about what I'd like the article to be about. And I'd like the agent to actually generate a document within that task and write the draft in that doc. 
So let's see how that works out. So you can see the agent is pondering possibilities, sketching a hero blueprint, channeling potential, starting the creation of the LinkedIn voice writer, parsing task briefs, ingesting the style guide, selecting writing tools, creating post-craft flair, injecting Elliot's voice, my voice, and adding calm authority vibe. And now my first super agent is ready and it was so easy to build. And this is my new LinkedIn voice writer. And what I'm actually gonna do here is I wanted to show you, you do have the ability to customize your agent if you'd like. If you don't like the avatar that's chosen for you by default, you can always choose a new one. So let's go with this guy. And now my agent's ready to use. And let's actually break down what's inside of this agent so you can see what Brain did and how this agent was actually created. So in the agent itself, you'll see that we have all of the instructions. So we have the role and objective already written for this agent. We also have capabilities and scope, again, written for this agent. And by the way, if you don't like anything that's written here, it's very easy to just come in here and edit and make changes as you need. Next, we've got our instructions for that agent. So this is how you're gonna be interacting with the agent and how that agent will work. And then finally, we've got style synthesis, writing preferences, voice matching, quality checks, edge cases, tone and personality, output format, memory usage, and context. So there's a ton of information that's now loaded inside of this agent to make it work in the way that you need it to work. And if I had to do that on my own, it would probably take me quite a bit of time to build out this, all the specifics that are needed to make this agent as effective as this agent will be. One other thing I wanna call out here are just your triggers. So here you can see I can at mention the agent, I can direct message the agent, I can assign a task, I can schedule the agent to work on a schedule if I'd like, I can automate it. But what I really wanted to talk about were the tools. Here is where you'll be able to pick the specific tools that your agent has access to in order for that agent to do all of the jobs that you want it to do. So here you can see this agent already has eight tools by default, things like create schedule, load assets, load custom fields, retrieve chat messages, retrieve task lists, search user activities, search users and teams and search the workspace. You'll notice that there's a few doc tools that were added. So create doc, create page in doc, tasks and subtask tools were added here, as well as comment tools. And you can see in general, it has the ability to create docs and create pages and docs. If I wanted to add tools to this agent, all I need to do is click on the add tools button here as an example. If I wanted this agent to be used to write Slack messages, I could connect Slack to this agent. Alternatively, if I wanted this agent to have the ability to write email messages, you can see that I can have it you know, create drafts or actually send emails on my behalf. So again, I just wanna point out how easy it is now to create a true AI teammate. This AI is not going to replace you at your job. The point of this agent is to actually make you better at your job, more effective at your job, and in the end, more productive.